Pop squat. Cool. Manacha. Yes, I still do not have a replaced monitor, uh, so we will hide this out of the way. I may check back. You may see that again sometime soon. I wanted to finally do the Drake and Kendrick stuff. Uh, I'm not going to do every single song. I think I'm going to start with uh, Drake's push-ups, then go to Euphoria, which I've already reacted to. I did a full reaction on it, so I'll, I'll probably just let it play and we'll just go through it again. Um, and then 616 in LA, uh, Drake's Family Matters, Meet the Grams, uh, Not Like Us, the last two from Kendrick, The Heart Part 6 from Drake, and then here's a little explanation. So I wanted to go over a little of the history between Drake and Kendrick, uh, absolutely to educate myself, because I actually didn't know they even had much of a relationship before this. I thought the, the beef grew out of, like, organically out of what was going on kind of in the industry but um apparently i'm looking at billboard obviously um drake and kendrick uh let's see first things seemed rosy between the young behemoths as they collaborated on each other's records during the early stages of their career as time passed friendly fire became a volcanic eruption sparked by lamar's earth-shattering feature uh march 22nd on future and metro boomin's we don't trust you album so Looks like they had, obviously, they worked together, they had some history, it started to not go well, they started getting on each other's nerves, that sort of thing. Oh, I, I should also say, before we get started here, I have to pull this back up. If you could, like, subscribe, and share, it helps me out. Cash up PayPal, Patreon's over here. If you want me to react to something, go check out stuff on my channel if you're here just to see what I think of Kendrick and Drake's uh, beef. Um, but uh, I, do, I react to all sorts of music. Uh, I started the channel originally to do, like, 80s work my way through the 80s into the 90s kind of educate myself on hip-hop because um the only stuff i ever got to hear really until the mid 90s um early 90s even was the most popular of things that happened to break through into uh, like radio at the time which was not very much and i like hip-hop i like hip-hop a lot i've followed music in all sorts of different genres for my entire life anyway uh, so that's what I do here on the channel. If you're not familiar, go check out some stuff. I've got everything from Chief Keef to Trippy Red to Shady Boy to Sewer Person to anybody you might want to, Blade, uh, all sorts of people. So uh, go check out some of the other videos. Helped me out quite a bit. I'm just going to get into the music. That's what I'm here for. Uh, well, I say that. I'm going to read up on this. So... Um, Let's see. The We Don't Trust You album. Metro, uh, Future and Metro Boomin's uh, We Don't Trust You album. Lamar didn't mince words hurling daggers at Drake and Cole such as um, Yeah, get uh, get up with me, fuck sneak and dissin', first person shooter. Uh, I'm not going to read through this whole thing. So basically they started a feudin', as they say. And um, it was not very friendly. So uh, there's quite a bit of history here. And uh, I'm not going to read through this whole thing with you guys on, on you know, watching the video. But um, this has turned out to be one of the biggest moments, really, in hip-hop, which is uh, incredible. In the 50, 51 years it's been around, uh, it, it got huge mainstream traction. People were talking about it everywhere. I was pretty amazed. Um, my uh, my wife um, doesn't really follow hip hop at all, so she hadn't heard anything about it. She doesn't really watch normal news channels at all, um, so that was a little surprising. But like, I heard people talking about it around town. I it was crazy, um, and and obviously uh, I use a lot of social media stuff so i was on tiktok and people like teachers were talking about like this was a drake school and now it's a kendrick school and uh i thought that was kind of cool that like people were absolutely picking sides um i think uh like even before we get into it these are two grown men <laughs> picking a fight with each other and doing it on like the biggest stage possible and i find that very very strange i know diss tracks and you know having beef with people is uh 
is a classic thing in hip hop and uh, in a lot of forms of entertainment. And um, I think this is, I think this is a losing battle for Drake because of the claims against him, because of his history. Maybe I'm kind of spoiling things on where I'm going to fall on this whole battle. Um, I'm not super familiar with Drake. I'm not super familiar with Kendrick Lamar. Um, I've listened to a few Drake songs. I enjoyed them. Um, hadn't realized the stuff about him with being friends with women who are much, much younger than him and um, then starting to date some of them when they were legal. Um, that's never a good thing. Like, what, she's legal? I can date her now just because I've known her since she was 14. Um, that's not a good look. It's not a good look. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's because he was a child star and he never felt like he got a chance to be a kid and so he still wants to live vicariously through his partner. I, it's, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But let's get into this. We're going to start with push-ups, which um, I did not hear before. So I have not heard this song. Uh, looks like this came out about a month ago. It's got 8 million views here on this particular site. It probably has a lot more than 8 million views <laughs> across everything. And uh, the one thing I forgot to do was... Uh, find the lyrics for this, which I know is not going to be too much of an issue. So, uh, push-up sees Drake respond to a flurry of shots, but primarily those from Kendrick Lamar, Future, and Metro Brumman in the wake of Like That, which I have also reacted to. I'll include links to Like That and um, Euphoria, which I have reacted to previously. I'll include links to those down below in the description. Um, so in the wake of their like that of like that their collaborative diss track against Drake, the title "Push-Ups" is a reference to the uh, 2023 viral video of Lamar doing prison push-ups while simultaneously addressing what Drake sees as a bunch of music industry subordinates attempting to push up to his level. His level being Drake's level. Um, two versions of the track leaked on April 13th. I don't care. Uh, ba -ba 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 hinted at a new song from Drake that may be associated with the diss track. Hip hop is a competitive sport. Drake is on the way. Drake would, f I don't, that doesn't make sense. Drake formally released the song to streaming services on April 19th of 2024. The cover art displays US shoe size of seven referencing a line in the first verse where Drake clowns Lamar for his shoe size and height. How, uh, how the fuck you big stepping with the size seven men's on? Um, that's <laughs> such a ridiculous... I know they're trying to get e under each other's skin, but for one thing, how childish do you have to be to make fun of somebody's height in in a diss track and, and their shoe size? Like, come on. Hey, really. Let's, let's just play Short People Got No Reason to Live, which is an actual song if you haven't ever heard of it. Um, we should find that song just to... Short People Song. There you go. Randy Newman, yes, the guy who wrote for <laughs> who wrote for a lot of different movies, uh, wrote the songs for uh, the Toy Story movies. You've got a friend. He also wrote Short People. Got no reason to live. 1977. Uh, let's check this out. So this is listed as rap, trap, hardcore rap, dark trap, and diss. I just these guys fighting over things like how tall somebody is i just think it's ridiculous like you're a grown fucking man act like it nice beat so i'll probably say things like that like nice beat like this sounds good that is not a selling point um because what what i'm really here for is to find out uh, like kind of how successful they are as diss tracks and considering both of these people are huge, huge hip hop stars, they're going to know how to either make a beat or find a killer beat to have in the background. So just because the song sounds good does, does not really make it all that special in, in this little fight. Hey, I 
could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bite, nigga, what's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Cause top told you drop and give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. So I admit that I have not listened to a lot of Drake, but he's really playing up his accent here. The the accent, this accent. I don't think I've ever heard him rap like this. And again, maybe that's my own ignorance, right? But this doesn't seem very Drakey to me. Um, uh, there was something out here. Your first number one had to put it in your hand. I assume that's some reference to them working together in the past. And um, yeah, uh, Drake claps back, insisting that he was the one who granted Future his first song to chart number one, uh, which is true. Drake's way too sexy for 2021 project. Certified Lover Boy was the first song featuring Future to to top the Billboard 100. Uh, yeah, I don't know if another artist can take credit for somebody else's success unless they actually did the whole track. I don't That seems like a weird choice. And like, again, why? You're just trying to undermine this guy because he happened to say something nasty about you? Eh, who cares? You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak pipe down. That, so that's a weird, <laughs> weird flex too. Like, yeah, you're a really good uh, writer and they want you to work with other lyricists. They want you to work with other bands that are also hugely popular because they think you could help them out. And, uh, and you did. Haha, <laughs> you sucker. Uh, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? I like that dun, 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 dun. in the background. It actually sounds a little bit like um, the Halloween theme, which I think is actually kind of cool. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the six guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got them done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy, ayy. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking, ayy. Hey. Fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping here. Yeah, see, I, I don't care what Cole think. Yeah, I, clearly you do. Like that, that sort of thing just drives me crazy. Like I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna write and produce an entire song to respond to the crap that you said about me because I got such a. Th thin skin that I feel like I need to defend myself. I mean, unless this is just completely to sell records, right? Which could absolutely be to like sell records 
get streams. Um, I, I don't care what Cole thinks. Cole's the one who kicked the whole thing off. He's the one who started this, and you're responding to that. You're responding to... Um, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to spend hours and hours and hours coming up with this, producing it, releasing it. But I don't care. He is not fucking easy enough. Nigga calling top to see if top want a piece of the top want a piece of the top want a piece of the now nah, pussy. Now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this is not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. So there's another lie. I'ma let you guys work work it out because I've seen enough. Nah, you know there's going to be more said and he's going to come back and he's going to respond and don't be an idiot. Ain't even everything I know don't wait to Sorry, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say don't be an idiot. But don't say things that <laughs> you 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 know things are going to be said, right? Like if they're going to come back at you, you're going to want to respond and you you you're not done with it. You're not finished with it. You're it's just a ridiculous thing to say. Teaming up, dropping, give me fifty, all you fuck niggas teaming up. okay that was okay i think i think that's not like a super super aggressive track right he's basically just like poke 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 he doesn't say anything that's gonna like if they want to turn this into something right like this does not end the beef this is just poking the bear and if if people came back at him which they probably will they're going to hit even harder. This He should have just ended it right here, right? He should have just come out with his absolutely the strongest stuff he had against these guys and knocked them to the ground. And he didn't do that at all. He just sort of went, oh, you guys were mean to me and I'm better than you because I have more money and I make music too and I'm unconvincing is what I would say to this. Uh, so we also need to find on genius um, we also need to find the shoe size thing is hilarious like and then he calls the guy a midget like that's just not cool I mean that's just not cool that's not even a term that's cool right um, after much anticipation Euphoria serves as Kendrick Lamar's official response to Drake's April 2024 diss track Push-Ups and Taylor Made Freestyle, which I didn't listen to, while also serving as his first solo release since May 2022's Mr. Morale and... It's funny, I actually had a teacher in high school, now that I think of it, named Mr. Morale. Um, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. All of these diss tracks are a culmination of the shot that Kendrick... Uh, that Yeah, Kendrick... Uh, Lamar initiated toward Drake and J. Cole throughout his feature verse on ver on Future and Metro Boomin's March 2024 single Like That. Again, linked below. Uh, the song was released without any prior announcement on YouTube. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Oh, uh, and the time is important. April 30th, 2024 at 8.24 a.m. as a subtle nod to fellow Los Angeles legend and former Laker, the late Kobe Bryant. Uh, after a few hours, Kobe, Kobe, like he's made a beef. Uh, after a few hours, Euphoria appeared on all streaming services. Structurally, the track is broken into three parts with three different beats. Kendrick may be playing off of his own bar from his verse on the aforementioned like that. Uh, Kendrick indeed came with three beat switches. The second beat comes in after, uh, but don't tell no lie about me and I won't tell no truths. <laughs> I won't tell truths about you. The third drop after headshot for the year, you better walk around like Daft Punk. Um, Kendrick's tone becomes noticeably more hostile. I do remember that. Uh, with every switch as the instrumental becomes more eerie and aggressive, Lamar comes at Drake throughout this diss track, touching on his public perception, appropriation of, and disconnect from an authentic black cultural experience. Ooh behavior, psychology, mixed heritage, and more. The accompanying artwork 
depicts a definition of euphoria with two example sentences. Yeah, okay. So that's that's just fine. Let's uh, let's get into this. I have reacted to this. I probably won't say very much, but we have the track in front of me. I just wanted to make sure to uh, include this to make the whole experience as um, smooth as possible. Euphoria. Well, I love backwards playing stuff, so I am I am down for that. I just think that's so cool. Euphoria. Them superpowers. And I should say, uh, the beginning of that that's played backwards, it says everything they say about me is true. I was getting neutralized, I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate, heavy antique is feeling distasteful. I calculate you, not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Fabricate stories on the family front, cause you- It's funny, cause this starts off- <laughs> I mean, Kendrick Lamar is one of Pulitzer for his writing. And uh, this starts off sound- it's definitely a diss track, right? But it sounds like- poetry and it sounds like quite good poetry because not only does it flow together really well but it the words sound good you know there's the whole thing about like certain words sound good together cellar door is supposed to be the most beautiful phrase in english and um he knows how to put words together to make it sound good and just uh, I'll back up a tiny bit it does sound good feeling distasteful why calculate you not as calculated i can even predict your angle fabricate stories on the family front because you heard mr morale or pathetic master manipulator i can smell the tales on you now you're not a rap artist you're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted tommy hill figure stood out but fubu never had been your collection i make music that electrify him. you make music that pacifies I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and a bitch will lie you too. But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. I mean, those are some really good lines. I mean, yeah, I, I've done reaction to this, but those are some really well written lines to to just knock the wind out of somebody, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay, hell, okay, made his own voice in them types of LA solo, okay, everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your throwaway, and I might do a show a day, what's a lame, always a lame, oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away, have you ever played, have you ever, okay, nigga, let's play, have you ever, watch your enemy down, like with a poker face have you ever paid 500 thou like to an open case well i have and i feel that both but i came out straight i hate when i rap or talk about guns then somebody die they turn into nuns then I hop online like pray for my city he faking for likes and digital hugs his daddy a killer he want to be junior they must have forgot the shit that they done dementia must run in his family but let it get shaky I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Cut the finish, you got shit twisted. What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay. Oh, such good flow, so good. His delivery is amazing. Like you pick up on the the increasing anger, it just I mean, how do you listen to the last song, right? And think that's better, more effective, more cutting than this. Like it's this is so much better. There's three goes left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I love them to death, and then eight bars, I'll explain their phrase. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Your cold and I be no, I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better have spinning again on him. You think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. 
We ain't gotta get personal, this a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. Yeah, my first one like my last one. It's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12, it's a fast one. Bow, bow, bow. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Yeah, again, like just some killer things being said in here. It's funny, like I, I react to songs and often I don't go back to them and re-listen to them. And it's just amazing to hear this stuff. And so many people have done fantastic breakdowns of what everything means in these lines, right? Um, but he had the great thing here of, uh, I'll tell you about this in eight lines or something like that. I love him to death it. And in eight bars, I'll explain that phrase, huh? It's nothing nobody can tell. And and eight l bars later, he mentions YNW Melly, uh, referring to the death uh, to death in a literal sense. And I forget exactly why. Uh, using the line set up YNW Melly punchline eight bars later. Uh, 2019, YNW Melly was charged with double murder of two fellow rappers. Yeah, so he's just saying like I'm gonna I'm gonna do you like YNW Melly did. Um, just i mean crazy cool and i mean writing wise that's easy to do right he could have put any number in there eight bars later i'm going to explain why and he could have said five bars later and then put that reference five bars later like that's easy to do but it's just such a cool thing to do in a song because as listeners we're listening to it and go what what's that i gotta pay attention now to eight eight lines or eight bars from now to find out what it is you're talking about it's very very cool um, but he rips into him about these things like um, his daddy a killer he want to be a junior they must have forgot the shit they done dementia must run in his family but let's get a shake um, the, talking about his dad talking about um, the stuff about uh, uh, you know acting tough act like guns and etc etc and then somebody gets killed in his town and he comes out and he acts like a nun and like oh it's a shame i'm praying for their family and stuff like that um and i'm not saying that's a bad thing to do but it's it it's it rings fake right and that's what this whole section is about like your whole personality is an act your whole like what you give off is an act and that's hard to respond to like no it's not like <laughs> and you never want to be the one responding right um this is this is pure attack from kendrick lamar um he mentions a couple of times like what drake has said previously but he's not really defending himself he's just like bat that aside and then go in for the attack again which is exactly what you should do if you're spending your time defending yourself you're you're losing you're absolutely losing um, and he had great stuff in here about, uh, so here's the YNW Melly thing. Great stuff in here about, you know, like the women that you're with aren't real women. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily fair, but that's what he's saying. Um, and maybe that's because they're young. We hate the bitches you fuck because they, you, they confuse themselves with real women. And uh, alludes to Cultural's longstanding whispers about Drake's questionable relationships with underage girls, not yet real women, like I said. The most notable recent example of this was with Millie Bobby Brown, which is not, not a fan of that whole relationship personally. While multiple allegations have floated around since 2010, no real solid proof of grooming minors has been brought forward. I don't know if you necessarily need real solid proof if somebody who's in their 20s and 30s is friends with people in their teens and especially people that they could be sexually interested in i won't say men or women necessarily because it depends on your your proclivities um 
that's not cool. That's just automatically going to come off as being like grooming. Those are people who you should be treating as like the sons and daughters of your friends, not as friends of yours because they're going through a similar thing that you went through years ago. Let them read your book. Like, write a book about how hard it was to be a child star. You don't text a 14-year-old and give them advice on being a kid and being 14. And I don't, it, just, it just reads wrong. Um, so let's finish off the song because we're not even done yet, and I can't believe I'm talking about this. Hey, top dog, who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit, only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hanging with. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Surprise, she wanted that feature request. You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga. But that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still love when you see success. Everything with me is black. Keep making me dance, waving my hand, and there won't be no threat. I'm knowing they call you the boy, but where's a man? Cause I ain't seen him yet. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet. Can I bleed him? Bad. When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try cease and assist on a like that record. Oh, what? You ain't like that record? Back to back. I like that record. I'ma get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get turd on niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Waking them up, no none about that. Then tell them to pray, no none about that. Then giving them tools to walk through life like day by day, no none about that. Teaching them morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering, you don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 v1, it's 1 v20. If I gotta smack niggas that right with you, yeah, bring them out too. I clean them out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. Am I sixth sense telling me to off him? I'm a brick nigga, all in the coffin. Yeah, Obi ho niggas. Is dick riders tell them run to America to imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast, and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. Don't speak on the family, Crody. It can get deep in the family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. I be at New Hall King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Tell me you're cheesing, fam. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas, I don't trust y'all niggas. I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas, they punk y'all niggas. Nobody never took my food. Whoever that's fucking with them, fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psst, there's something you don't wanna do. Ooh, we don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. <laughs> we don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. Stop. See, like, how good is that? He's basically... <laughs> Kendrick doesn't own blackness, right? Kendrick, <laughs> he doesn't own being a black person, black culture. But what he's basically saying is, like, we, me, people like me, people who agree with me, we don't want you in our group. We, we stop it. Stop trying to be one of us because you're not. And, and I'm not going to comment on whether or not that's fair or whether or not they should, you know, do that because I got, I got nothing to say about it. I mean, nothing to do with that, right? But that's, that's, that's an attack. That is an attack. <laughs> it's no joke. Uh, let's see. So what comes after this? That was a good song. I mean, that just sounded good. Um... Yeah, I know. I'm I'm definitely going to come down on the Kendrick side of things and for the Tra Drake fans, I apologize, but um there's no way that Drake can come out of this looking good. 616. This is the this is the one track uh that I don't understand what this reference is to and uh maybe this will explain it. So, um Producers on this, I should have mentioned this on the other one, Soundwave and Jack Antonoff. Jack Antonoff. Um, 616 in LA is Kendrick Lamar's second disc track directed at Drake. And, and and this was crazy when this came out, right? Because this, this followed uh, Euphoria 
very soon after its release. And Euphoria also, I didn't mention this, was a reference to the TV show Euphoria, uh, which is co-produced or produced, executive produced by Drake, and also features a lot of young people, very hypersexualized and drugs and things like that. But again, easy to point that finger, right? But then this song came out too, with no, no response from Drake. Then this song came out, um, which is a little unusual, I tend to think, that um, you know, a, a, a two people in a diss war that one of them keeps pumping out stuff even when there's no response coming back. So 616 uh, follows Euphoria, which released three days prior. It first appeared on Kendrick's Instagram. Oh, I don't care about that information. The song may have been bait for Drake to respond with his following diss track, Family Matters, to see if he mentioned Kendrick's family. When, it, uh, when he did, Kendrick dropped Meet the Grams 57 minutes later. Notably, the lyrics suggest that Kendrick Lamar uh, 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 Kendrick Lamar has an inside man within Drake's team giving Lamar information about Drake's plans and activities for example on the verse Kendrick says something right uh, the cover art for the song is cropped from a larger image which originally serves as cover art for Meet the Grams uh, it features a glove with the Maybach logo on it a division of a car manufacturer Mercedes Benz which shares the name with the rapper Rick Ross's music label Round and round. Maybach Music Group. Uh, oh, that's the music label. Uh, Ross dropped a Drake diss track of his own on in April of 2024 titled Champagne Moments. Kendrick initially threatened a second diss at Drake on Euphoria when he said, Back to back, I like that record. I'm going to get back to that for the record. Um, and so maybe he was talking about like, oh, back to back, because back to back releases of diss tracks. Um, uh, the title of the track often pl uh, also plays off Drake's timestamp series, of which there has been seven installments in Drake's discography at the time of this release. It follows a not so subtle titular jab at Drake in Dots, Drake in Dots' previous diss track as Euphoria is the title of yeah his HBO Max uh, series, which Drake is an executive producer on. Incidentally, Euphoria appeared on June sixteenth of twenty nineteen. Oh, okay, so. 616. Um, 616 of 1994 is also the same date as O.J. Simpson murder trial was submitted in L.A. This may add to the use of the single black glove on the cover of art since a glove was famously presented in the case as evidence. Uh, the title may have several other potential meanings. I'm not going to read through all this. It's a lot of stuff. Let's, uh, let's listen to this. 616 in L.A. I have not heard this. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. There's survival, survival. I think somebody lying, smell somebody lying. I don't see no fire. That's cool to hear. What is that? That's a classic song. I, I'm a huge fan of it. Is that, um, God, I can't believe I can't think of who it is. Is it, uh, Al Green? I'm pretty sure it's Al Green. Go ahead, the marina. Fuck a phantom. I like to buy yachts when I get the fever. Wine cooler, spill on my white t shirt, the sightseer. Trifecta, money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure, my visa. Passport tatted, I show up in the visa. Luke Kelly's dwellings in Brooklyn just to book me some pizza. Who can reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God, huh, my confession is yours. But who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity. What is this? This is an interesting. Kendrick admits to initially being conflicted in his decision to go to war with Drake, knowing that it would likely result in yet another historic hip-hop feud. The celebrated for being a rapper, Lamar often considers himself more of a grounded spirit medium who abstains from celebrity rap politics. The temptation of instigating, th uh, of instigating created an existential dilemma within Lamar making him wonder if doing so would conf uh, contradict his self-image and betray his spirituality. 
it's good that he thinks that stuff, like thinks about it. Like, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to get into this? And I guess he came down on the side of, um, yeah, this, this guy I'm having problems with is a piece of crap of a human being. Like, uh, I think I need to warn people away from him and like educate them. I, I, this is what I would think in his shoes, right? Like, even if I'm causing conflict between people causing participating in conflict um ultimately he must have come down and decided it was for a good reason uh this is kendrick standing firm on his principle of prioritizing god that he invoked on his april 24th uh april 2024 diss track euphoria when he rapped speaking the truth and consider the god's Consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. It should be noted that Kendrick's 2022 release, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, was centered around themes of healing and peacemaking. Father Time, the album's fifth track. I, I never listened to uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Um, Father Time, the album's fifth track, even saw Lamar consider squashing his beef with Drake. Uh, interesting. Kendrick ultimately decided to go to war. He figures that even if he loses or betrays his character, the loss will give him the opportunity to learn more about himself. This introspection mirrors and interpolates Count Me Out from Kendrick's aforementioned 2022 release. Um, when I Fall Short could also be a subtle acknowledgement of the short jokes Drake made. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it's like somebody's going to make fun of you for being short. Like, own it, right? Um, hmm. No, that's cool that, like I said, that he considered it, that he thought about it. And again, at least he tells us he thought about it. Like, do I really want to do this? Maybe he didn't say it, but. Lost. I discover myself when I fall short. Raise my hands to a fallen sky. I fantasize me, jumping planets, immortalized. I correspond. Three angels watching me all the time. Put my children to sleep with a prayer, then close my eyes. Definition of peace. Tell me who gon' stop me. I come from love, and still cover my heart, then open me up. Remember when picked up a pen, lyrics that I can trust. Timmy so stare in the mirror, asking where I was from often. I know this type of power has gone cost, but I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star. Star, the mannerisms of Raphael, like in the hill, they give you art, but the industry's cooked as I pick the carcass apart. Yeah, somebody's lying, I can see the vibes on act. Even he looking compromised, let's peel the layers back. Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest, harassing ant. Fucking with good people, make good people go to bed. Conspiracies about cash, dog? That's not even the leak. Find the Jews like cash, dog. I just need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever, let's see, have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Fake bully, I hate bullies. You must be a terrorist. Terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve it. Can't twisty slide about it. This one is just gonna resurface. Every dog gotta have his day. Now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. Then lost money cause they came back with no receipts. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace, but war ready if the world is ready to see you bleed. The Elohim KTW. No, you can't sleep. These images trouble you. Know the wires in your circle should puzzle you. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you. A hundred niggas that you got on salary And twenty of them want you as a casualty And one of them is actually next to you And two of them is practically Tired of your lifestyle Just don't got the audacity to tell you But let me tell you some game Cause I can see you my little homie You playing dirty with propaganda Hit blow up on you You playing nerdy with Zach Bia and Twitter bots But your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi Your little means is losing steam They figured you out The first opinions is not convincing Y'all need a new route It's time that you look around on who's around you you before you figure that you're not alone ask what mike would do huh i'm really curious as to the point of that track and again maybe it's just to like keep up the pressure keep up the pressure maybe he just had a lot to say i mean obviously he had a lot to say right but he's not, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, is he had a lot to say. He, he had more than the first song could contain, and so he came back with more. 
there's obviously annotations throughout here explaining a lot of stuff about this song, but this is also one of the songs that I really did not hear a whole heck of a lot about, so maybe everybody kind of thought, yeah, it's a good track, but there you go. Um, hmm. It's okay. Let's, let's move on. We got to keep going. So, uh, genius. Got to do this. Family Matters. And uh, so this is Drake's response. And uh, wow, look at the producers. Boy Wanda, Tay Keith, Mark Ronson, Fierce, Kevin Mitchell, Drama Kid, Premi, P R E M E, and Jordan Fox. That's a lot of producers on a single track, but maybe that's also because he's sampling stuff. Um, in Family Matters, Drake responds to both Euphoria and 616 in L.A. by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that's it, too. Like, release a whole bunch of content on Kendrick's side, right? And um, just give Drake too many things to respond to. Uh, throughout his third diss track, uh, Drake shoots at Kendrick and lays multiple truths. Simultaneously, he refutes claims made through Kendrick's disses. Hip-hop is a competitive sport and nobody is safe, as Drake also took shots at Metro Boomin, The Weeknd, Rick Ross, ASAP Rocky, and label executive Dave Free in the same post where he announced its drop. Drake wrote, Stop lying to piece together, Stop lying to piece together what I know and go pick up the pieces of a, your broken home. Uh, before the drop of the song, Drake uploaded multiple memes, videos, and pictures of his Instagram story on his Instagram story as a warning for the track's drop. First, uh, and before the drop of 616 in LA, he uploaded a photo of Adonis looking at a mirror captioned with Mirror Time Crody. This is a reference to Kendrick making fun of the Canadian slang. Uh, following the drop of Kendrick's second diss, he used a video of Denzel Washington from The Equalizer 2 directly warning his enemies about what is coming. I'm going to kill each of you and every one of you, and the only disappointment to, to me is that I only get to do it once. Ooh. Uh, I haven't watched that movie, but I actually want to watch those. Uh, a few hours later, he uploaded a photo of a caution tape. Only a few minutes before the song's release, finally he posted a photo of an owl looking at a red button on his Instagram story. The owl signifies his brand, OVO, while the red button alludes to a previous song of his, Red Button, where he claims to possess potentially damaging information on an unnamed individual, which may be released at the push of a red button, a double metaphor referring to a detonation device and the illuminated button on studio recording equipment. Uh, indicating an active recording is in process or a broadcast is underway. Moments after posting the image of the red button, Drake released Family Matters. The diss starts with the outro of his previous diss track, Push Ups, with Drake doubling down on it before switching the beat into a second verse similar to Kendrick's Euphoria. He uses three beat switches. See, and again, he uses three beat switches to address several themes. If, if you're... It doesn't look good to copy the person who's attacking you. <laughs> It, unless you completely blow them out of the water with it. Like, if he's going to use three, then why don't you use four? Why don't you use five? Why don't you use six? Like, do something to make it better. Like, even the song is a... The song's structure is a response to what Kendrick has already done. Um, Kendrick also dropped a music video along with the diss track. Okay, I'm not going to get into this, but we're going to watch the music video. Seven minutes, 36 seconds. Let's go. 22 million views. Start by saying, Nigga, I said it. I know that you mad. I've emptied the clip over friendly or jabs. You mentioned my seed, and I deal with his dad. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad. Mm, mm, yeah, draw, 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 draw. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. If you had a set, they get your ass a DP. Two civilian gang in real life, you PC. You know who really bang a set, my nigga YG. You know who really bang a set, my nigga Chuck. This sounds good. I like this. T. You know who even bang a set out there, CB. The nigga cold, lose his sleep on this, it ain't me. You better have some paperwork of that shit, fake T. Can't be rapping by no rat that we can't read. I mean, it's true, a nigga slimy for my AP. 
Just like how Metro nigga slime for his main squeeze. Out here begging for attention, nigga, say please. Always rapping like you about to get the slaves free. You just acting like an activist is make believe. Don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. Say you hate the girls I fuck with, what you really mean? I been with black and white and everything that's in between. You the black messiah wiping up a mixed queen and hit. So he's talking, mm, not, not good things to rip on somebody about, right? Like, uh, always rapping like you about to get the slaves freed. Seems like an odd thing to rip on somebody about. You just acting like an activist. It's make-believe. Yeah, I don't know if anybody believes that. Don't even go back to your hood and plant no money trees. You say you hate the girls, I fuck, but what you really mean... I've been with black and white and everything that's in between. You, the black messiah, wifing up a mixed queen. So it's okay for you to be with black and white and everything in between, but it's not okay for Lamar to be with somebody who's of mixed race, which would be black and white, I assume. Like, that's not okay. And, um... Yeah, that's, these are lines that somebody wrote that they shouldn't have written. And it, they're just not cool. And I know it's a diss track, so it's like anything is fair game. But if he just, <laughs> yeah, that's it, just not, it's just not cool. And hit vanilla cream to help out with your self-esteem. On some Bobby shit, I want to know what Whitney need. All that puppy love was over y'all late teens. I don't know. I don't think he's on the right track here. This is... He needs an editor. This is, Somebody should have been like, yeah, yeah, I don't think you want to talk about that. Vanilla cream to help out with your self-esteem. Also, Bobby shit, I want to know what Whitney need. All that puppy love was over in y'all late teens. Why you never hold your son and tell him say cheese? We could have left the kids out of this. Don't blame me. You a dog and you know it. You just play sweet. You, we could have left the kids out of this? Like, seriously? That's going to be your defense about what he's saying about you being a deadbeat dad? We could have left the kids out of this? Oh yeah, wouldn't that have been handy for you? <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Your baby mama cash was always screaming, save me. You did it dirty all your life, you trying to make peace. I heard that one of them little kids might be day free. Don't make it day freeze. Cause if your GM is your BM secret BD, then this is all making plenty fucking sense to me. Hey. Let that shorty breathe, shake that ass, bitch. Hands on your knees, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake, now shake that ass for free. Yeah, yeah, we're not that kind of free. I'm talking about my nigga Dave. Yo man a Lil K, we call that shit a mini Drake. He always said I overlooked him, I was staring straight. These bars go over Kenny here, no matter what I say. I know you like to keep it short, so let me paraphrase. Knew it was smoke when Abel hit us with the serenade. Nigga say, uh, uh, almost started reaching for my ways. Draw, 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 draw. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the thought. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it. Yeah, we stop playing around and take this shit serious, like. Niggas is a joke, I take it serious, though. Yeah, look. If That's also a stupid line. Guys is a joke, <laughs> I take it serious, though. Like, it's a joke, but I, it, it doesn't matter. It's, it's stupid, it's a joke, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be serious about it. Uh, come on. 
Drake shooters doing TikToks, nigga, really shooting in your gang. That's P's brother, y'all ain't getting shit shot, nigga. Can't listen to the stick talking falsetto, saving for a hip hop, nigga. You don't even be at home, dog. You a souvenir out the gift shop, nigga. Still mad about that one hoe. We ain't even fuck. I just lip lock with her. I get acting when it's war time. I ain't even really let my dick drop, nigga. What the fuck? I heard Rick drop, nigga. Talking something about a nose job, nigga. Oh, Zip, it got a side effect of jealousy and doubt. I never told y'all, niggas. Put a nigga in the bars, let a nigga rock, kinda like your old job, nigga. House sitting on some land, but it's out where no one even really know y'all. Niggas, bitches gotta drive two hours for your pay. I'm just to give a blow job, nigga. Must have started up a snowball. Cause my last record deal was 400 ends. These days, that's a low bar, nigga. Hey, who's next on the list? Which one of my so called niggas? Which one of my so called niggas? Which one of my so called niggas need a shelf on a clip? Always knew I had to smoke y'all, niggas. Good kid, Mad City van, we'll pop the latch and make the door slide. Tears running down my cheek, laughing at you, pussy dying. It's a war cry. We get music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. That's why all your friends dip into Atlanta playing just to find a tour guide. Able run your fucking bread, need to buy some more chains for some more guys. Let me find another street nigga I could take to the game court side. Let me get a used Ferrari for a rapper, take the nigga on a horse ride. Anything to take a spotlight off the fact the boss is a drugged out little punk sissy from the north side. Rock him talking shit again. Gas cause you hit my BM first. Nigga, do the math who I was hitting in. I ain't even know you rest still, cause they only talking about your fit again. Probably gotta have a kid again for you think of dropping any shit again. Even when you do drop, they gon' say you should have model cause it's mid again. Smoking 50 by they should have put you on the first one trying to get it in. Ask Fring if this a good idea the next time you cut it in a bed again. Shit, even tell your leader boy alone for you get your head split again. Pluto shit made me sick to my stomach, we ain't never really been through it. Lena Wayne, he a fucking lane, so I know he had to be an influence. These niggas had a plan and they finally found a way to rope get into it two separate albums this and i just did a cam to it nigga skim through it me and savage had the hoes dripping where it shows almost had to swim to it k dot shit is only hitting hard when baby king put his pen to it ross calling me the white boy and the shit kind of got a ring to it because all these rappers waving white flags while the whole fucking club sing to it murder scene on your man tonight then come to vigil with the candlelight body at the fucking body and you know rick reading my miranda rights i'm going on vacation i hope next time y'all plan it right because you gotta pay for saying my name guess now niggas understand the price man yeah he's just all over the place in there like i i obviously i don't get all the references some of it just makes sense to me off the off the top and i've heard people talking about it but it's just like a list of things it's just words 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 i think he's throwing anything at the wall that he thinks might stick might be offensive might be angry nothing stands out Hey, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Where's your uncle at? Cause I wanna talk to the man in the house. West Coast niggas do phase, right? Come get this ass whooping, I'm handing him out. You wanna take off of a rep? Then come. Also, weird thing to comp like to use in a diss track. Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. Like, everything this guy does is so incredible that he just gets Grammys is it's it's not the insult that you think it is like that's a weird thing to to say don't get his legacy out of my house a cease and desist is for hoes can't listen to lies that come out of your mouth you caught a two-pack of steak and beg them to sue me and get that shit down i'm losing perspective on beef boy when the same beat and i kill you for fun your daddy got robbed by top you stunning and wayne like father like son anthony set up the plays Kojo be charging you double for none They shook about what I'ma say But texting your phone like we already won You tell me what I shouldn't say But well, fucking my nigga, it's already done We already know it's a 20 v one We already know why you went number one It's clearly because of the boy The honorable thing is to give me the loot You write about fuck the big three It's only big D in this video proof Our son should go play at the park Two light-skinned kids, this shit will be cute Unless you don't wanna be seen With anyone that isn't blacker than you We get it, we got it the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice We get that you like to put gin in your juice We get that you think that you bishop in juice When you put your hands on your girl Is it self-defense cause she bigger than you Your back is up against the curb You digging for dirt, she be digging for proof Why Okay, and is there any proof of that? Significantly shorter Kendrick Lamar is shorter than his longtime partner Whitney Alford Drake asserts that Alford Lamar assaulted Alford after discovering his infidelity her infidelity. Yeah, is there any proof of that? I mean, you could say anything, right? Hmm. Hmm. Weak. 
How did you move to New York? Is it cause you live in that bachelor life? Proposed in 2015. But don't wanna make her your actual wife. I'm guessing this wedding ain't happening right. Cause we know the girls that you actually like. The darkest secrets are coming in light. It's all on your face like what happened to Mike. Oh shit. It's all making sense. Maybe I'm Prince and you actually Mike. Michael was praying his features would change. So people believe that he's actually white. Top will make you do features for change. Get on pop records and rap for the whites. And wait, you say your brother Jermaine. But you want in here to stay out of the light. Oh shit. Just follow me right, cause nothing you saying could bother me right. I get off the plane and nothing has changed. I hit the Delilah with all of my ice. Hit the Delilah with all of my ice. Hit the Delilah with all of my ice. This shit gotta be over by now for anyone out here that's calling it right. You did. You did. You did. There's nowhere to hide, there's nowhere to hide, you know what I mean. They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. The picture you painted ain't what it seemed. You did. Yeah, I... I guess you can claim anything, right? Like, I've never heard anything about Kendrick being... violent, being an abusive spouse. I I mean, I'm willing to be wrong if, if there is actually some proof of that, but... Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan of that track. Meet the Grams is the response from you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of kids in the school you like middle school kids like a, a year long battle between popular kids who hate each other and it just is like guys you don't matter like and and it's it's not even that right it's like one one guy trying to warn people off of somebody and the other guy saying like yeah but look at him but look at him look at what he did look at what he did i look what he look what i say he did as opposed to like all the stuff you can look at of what I actually did of like having inappropriate relationships with people who are women who are much younger than me I'm I'm not liking Drake on this because he just he's trying to deflect right he's trying to to pull all attention away from him as much as possible and when you're on the defense I mean that's a good way to do it you just deflect 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 that just it doesn't doesn't match up for me uh kendrick lamar kicked off may 3rd 2024 with a surprise release of 616 in la a diss track that followed the april 30th euphoria and preceded the third drake response 14 hours later drake would upload family matters to youtube which kendrick then used as fuel to unleash the sinister six minute track meet the grams as the title implied kendrick sends a personal message to each member of the graham family he exposes scathing allegations about Drake, many of which were previously reported, or never previously reported. The most notable allegations is that Drake supposedly has an 11-year-old daughter and, uns and, other, and, and unspecified other children. Drake made light of the allegation to discredit it with an Instagram story post shortly after the track dropped. Uh, beyond addressing the Grams, Kendrick attacks other aspects of Drake's character. He claims Drizzy is addicted to prescription pills, perhaps the one displayed on the song's cover. Compares him to disgraced movie producer Harvey Weinstein, claims he has sex offenders on his OVO sound payroll, and that he is a sexual deviant. The track's cover art was removed from the streaming release, seemingly due to HIPAA privacy rules that protect individuals' medical records. Yeah, but that shouldn't cover an individual who has copies of somebody else's records like that's that's <laughs> that's ridiculous i i think i don't know um I, like if i have a copy of your medical records i can i can share them i'm not supposed to like that's mean that's but i don't i i'm not covered by hipaa i don't as far as i understand it that's weird uh, the original cover art appears to be zoomed out version of the artwork that accompanied 616 in LA. Um, let's get into this. Six minutes and 32 seconds. 
Uh, I'm curious. This is this is a song I also haven't listened to, but I'm curious about this because it sounded crazy from what people were saying. Uh, so it, yeah, in this he's addressing Kendrick is addressing the different members of um, Drake's family, and uh, looks like he starts with Adonis, the son that Drake apparently didn't hit, hit away had with a porn star. I want to say an adult star. Um, I don't know exactly. Maybe it'll tell us right here. Uh, Adonis Graham is the name of Drake's six-year-old son, Kendrick. Man, six-year-old kid. Jesus Christ. This kid does not deserve to have this shit in the public eye. Like, not at all, man. Not at all. Like, that's not cool, right? This is the thing. This is the thing that Lamar will come back and look at and go, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have dragged this kid into it. Because think about what this kid's got to deal with. That's not cool. He's got, he's got, he's got nothing to do with this. He's got nothing to do with this. And, and I, I'm not kidding when I say that this kid will hear about this for the rest of his life. I mean, maybe not every week, maybe not even every year, but every few years something will come up and there'll be a reference in Rolling Stone or some online blog or reporting site or something and people will be like, Adonis Graham, now 17 years old, blah, 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 blah. The subject of family matters from Kendrick Lamar in the great dis war of 2024 like this kid does not deserve to have this hanging over his head for the rest of his life not at all not at all but anyway um, Kendrick previously addressed Drake's parenting of Adonis and Euphoria <clears throat> and these were some harsh lines too <laughs> I got a son to raise but I can see you don't know nothing about that teaching him morals integrity discipline listen man you don't know nothing about that Adonis's existence was first made widespread public knowledge by Pusha T on May 2018's The Story of Adidan which I have also really reacted to uh, a diss track which alleged that Drake was neglecting to raise his child but planned to use him as a promotional gimmick for a then upcoming shoe deal with Adidas this kid does not deserve this it kind of bothers me uh, let's check this out. 6 minutes, 32 seconds. Meet the Grams from Kendrick Lamar. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would a world condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Life is hard, I know. The challenges always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor, since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your legs, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business, that's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man even if it don't benefit your goals do some push-ups get some discipline don't cut them corners like your daddy did fuck what ozempic did don't pay to play with them brazilians get a gym membership understand no throwing rocks and hiding hands that's law don't be ashamed about who you with that's how he treats your moms don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again be sure five percent will comprehend but 95 is lost be proud of who you are your strength come from within a lot of superstars that's real but your daddy ain't one of them and you nothing like him you'll carry yourself as king can't understand me right now just play this when you 18. yeah i'm not a fan of that first verse and and he says like you know i'll be your mentor you Like you're talking about his dad. I mean, I, and I don't know what, what their relationship is like, right? But this is going to haunt that kid forever. Forever. Play this again when they're 18? Why? Just so I can be pissed off at you again? Like, that's not a cool verse. 
Dear Sandra, your son got some habits, I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment. With emotion, hoping a man can see you and not be blinded. Dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Even using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper, and more paper, and more, uh, more paper. I'm blaming you for all his gambling addictions, psychopath intuition, the man that like to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person, the nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down, what I'm about to say is heavy, now listen. <clears throat> Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of an info fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being a beard. See, like, some of this... This is harsh, right? Like, this is, like, talking to his parents and telling them they raised a horrible fucking person. Like, that's hard to hear for a parent. But this is... This is the attack, right? This is the part of it that you listen to and you're like, holy shit, like, that's rough. He got, uh, what is, what is, what do they say here? You raised a horrible fucking person, the nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen, your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think guys like him should die. Him and Weinstein. I love that he just throws it in there. Him and this other random person who happens to be in trouble for sexual assault and all sorts of other terrible things should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. Like, that's what he's wishing on this guy. I mean... And see, the way he says this, the way he says it makes, makes me think he absolutely knows this stuff is true. Because... Because... Otherwise, honestly, there'd be lawsuits, right? Like, you're claiming I'm like this, that I do this. He hates black women, hypersexualizes them with kinks of a nympho fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him better. He got sex offenders on OVO, HOVO, HOVO, that he keep on monthly allowance. A, sh a child should never be compromised and keep and he keeping his child around them like yeah see this this part is okay the way he mentions the kid here like you couldn't shouldn't keep a kid around that i don't think you should have dragged the kid into it early on though that's not cool he'll just fit him better he got sex offenders on hovio that he keep on a monthly allowance and a child should never be compromised and he keeping his child around him and we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking fuck a rap battle he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose i've been in this industry 12 years i'ma tell y'all one little secret it's some weird shit going on and some of these artists be here to police it they be streamlining victims all inside of their home and calling them tender then leak videos set themselves to further push their agendas to any woman that be playing this music know that you're playing your sister or better yet selling your niece to the weirdos not the good ones cat williams i gave you the truth so i'ma get mine the embassy about to get ready too it's so only a matter of time. Hey, LeBron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. They looking at you too if you standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. Ooh. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much. Yeah, again not necessary to bring a little kid into this just absolutely not necessary rip on the father absolutely rip on the father that's fine he should be addressing this to drake right well here you got a kid here you got this other daughter and again this this may not this daughter may not actually exist i haven't heard the end result of that um it's apparently misinformation that was being fed to Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> you know you're losing in in a contest like this when you have to get the other person. Like you have to play uh, such defense against the other person that you give him fake information to make him look stupid. <laughs> That's not a good look. That's not a good look. 
much but it's music, yeah, that's for sure. Be a narcissist, misogynist, living inside his songs. Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own. She'll be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you. Or at your 11th birthday, singing poems with you. Instead, he being Turks, paying for sex and popping perks. Examples that you don't deserve. I want to tell you that you're loved. You're brave. You're kind. You got a gift to change the world and can change your father's mind. Because our children is the future, but he lives inside confusion. Money's always been illusion, but that's the life he's used to. His father probably didn't claim him neither. History do repeats itself. Sometimes it don't need a reason. But I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child. Give him grace. This the reason I made Mr. Morale. So our babies like you can cope later. Give you some confidence to go through something. It's hope later. I never want to hear you chasing man because it's felt behavior. Sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation. You need to know that love is eternity and trumps all pain. I tell you who your father is. Just play this song when it rains. Yes, he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And the fucking dead beat that should never say more life. Meet the Grams. Dear Harbor, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party, but truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. This supposed to be. Well, we know that's not true. Truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. He's just told us in either, I think the previous song, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Like, come on. A good exhibition within the game But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name Why you had to stoop so low to the credits of decent people Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you And I like to understand cause your house was never a home 37 but you showing up as a 7 year old You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems Bad with money, horror house, soliciting women problems Therapy's a lovely start but I suggest some ayahuasca Strip the ego from the bottom I try to empathize with you Cause I know that you ain't been through nothing Crave entitlement But wanna be like so bad that it's puzzling No dominance Let's recap moments when you didn't fit in No secret handshakes with your friend No culture cachet to binge Just disrespecting your mother Identities on the fence Don't know which family would love you The skin that you living in Is compromised and personas Can't channel your masculine Even when standing next to a woman You a body shamer You go hide them baby mamas ain't ya You embarrassed of them That's not right That ain't how mama raised us take that mask off i want to see what's under them achievements why well, believe you you never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about religious views you lied about your surgery you lied about your accent and your past tense all is perjury you lied about your ghost riders you lied about your crew members they all pussy you lied on them i know they all got you in them you lied about your son you lied about your daughter huh you lied about them other kids yeah see this is super effective i mean this is a really really good section of the song in, in terms of like tearing somebody down and really attacking them their integrity their their lack of integrity their the lies they tell the not even the lies the stories they tell how they craft their persona and, and he just goes through and like he talks about his culture he talks about um his skin color he talks about his masculinity he talks about how he treats women he talks about uh, the women he's been with and like his baby mamas right he talks about everything why should we believe you you never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about religious views you lied about your surgery and this is stuff that i'm sure you can go find specific examples of right you lied about your accent and your past tense all is perjury you lied about your ghostwriters you lied about your crew members i mean this is this is what this song the whole song should be right like Yes, tear into the person that you are attacking. Don't talk about the kids. Is that's out there hoping that you come You lied about the only artist that can offer you some help. Fuck a rap battle. This a long life battle with yourself. Hmm. Uh, that, that was good. Mm. 
Like I said, I don't like the stuff about the kids. I really don't like that. Because I'm, I, I, if you're not a follower of the channel, I very much believe our reality is made up of words, of information. Information. And he's now put this information out into the world that is going to follow these kids or this kid, Adonis, I don't know if the daughter is real or not, forever. Forever. And you could say, oh, well, it's not really Kendrick's fault. It's it's Drake's fault because he never should have put these kids in this situation. He shouldn't have been bad to the kids. No, you're right. He shouldn't have been bad to the kids. But to, to address the kids directly, that's not a good way to do it. It's just, it's just not. We still got a couple songs. This is all going to be a long one. I didn't think this was going to take this long. Not like us. Uh, lyrics. Let us check this out. So this is not like us. I love the. I saw the cover to this. I love the cover to this. I absolutely think it's amazing. Um, it's the. It's Drake's mansion, business place. I don't know. But with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 dots in it, like uh, sexual offenders are <laughs> located there. It's just, it's such a good, not even subtle rip. I mean, if you don't know what those those little pins are, then you just go, oh, that's weird. Like, what is that? Like, tags on a map? So uh, this is Kendrick's fourth diss track directed at Drake. Released on the evening of May 4th, 2024, less than 24 hours after Meet the Grams. Uh, on this track, Kendrick avenges the West Coast uh, for Drake's controversial use of Tupac and Snoop Dogg AI vocals on his song Taylor Made Freestyle. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I don't agree with that either. Uh, Drake's second diss released via Instagram on April 19th, 2024. Um, oh, that Taylor Made Freestyle. It was removed shortly thereafter because of cease and desist from the estate of the late Tupac Shakur. Interesting. Kendrick raps over a bouncy mustard-produced beat, which, typical of mustard style, is inspired by hyphy, a genre of hip-hop popularized in Northern California. Kendrick's zany vocal inflections and fast flows are reminiscent of Bay Area legend E-40, a personal favorite of his who, uh, who was shouted out on October 2012's Money Trees. Uh, among other disses, notably calling Drake a snitch and a culture vulture, Kendrick doubles down on prior allegations made against Drake of sexual deviancy. This time, he outright calls Drake and his associates pedophiles, using the term certified pedophile as a clever play on Drake's September 2021 album Certified Lover Boy. Uh, YouTube thumbnail features a Google, Google Maps image of Drake's mansion at Park Lane Circle in Toronto, Canada. Park Lane Circle is a Toronto oasis where celebrities love to build extremely lavish mansions. The thumbnail edited <laughs> in a way that closely closely resembles the modern sex offender registry, which pinpoints the residency of a convicted offender, is continuing the thread of allegations made by Kendrick Lamar that Drake is a sexual predator. It insinuates that Drake's mansion, nicknamed the Embassy, is a hub for illegal sexual activity. So good. I mean, that is just such a good rip on somebody the track uh was teased i don't care let's uh let's listen to this song i'm actually kind of excited to hear this because i'm curious about it four minutes and 33 seconds kendrick lamar's and not like us Psst. i see dead people why is that there in the process of threatening Drake's life and career, Kendrick Lamar references the popular 1999 movie The Sixth Sense. The main protagonist, played by Haley Joel Osment, is able to see and hear dead people. Kendrick whispers the same words that the boy utters to the therapist in the film's most iconic scene. This is also a callback to bars from the final verse of April 2024's Euphoria, which ridiculed Drake for using Ghost Riders, as well as using artificial intelligence for tailor-made freestyle. Additionally, this might be a reference to fellow Compton rapper, the game's intro on his 50 cent diss. It's okay, okay, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the lyrics here. We were right at the start of the song. Hey, oh. Monster on the beat, ho, deep, bo, rap, nigga, he a free throw, man, 
down, call like amber lamps. Tell him, please, bro, nail a nigga to the cross. He walk around. Okay, I did hear people talking about amber lamps, like an amber alert. And also the meme, the guy calling Amber Lance. And uh, it's, it's just, I love his vocals on this. This is so good right off the bat. I absolutely love it. And damn, call like Amber Lance. Tell him, please, bro. Nell a nigga to the cross. He walk around like Tizo. What's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton? The industry can hate me. Fuck them all in the mama. How many options you really got? I mean, it's too many options. I'm finna pass on this body. I'm John Stockton. Beat your ass and hide the Bible if God watching. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas Certified boogie man, I'm the one that up to score with him Walk him down whole time, I know he got some hoe in him Pull on him, extort shit, bully the flow on him Say Drake, I hear you like I'm young You better not ever go to cell block one To any bitch that talk to him and they in love Just make sure you hide your little sister from him They tell me Chubb's the only one that get your hand-me-downs And party at the party playing with his nose now And Baca got a weird case, why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles Wop, 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 wop that fuck him up wop, 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 wop. i'ma do my stuff why you trolling like a bitch ain't you tired trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor <laughs> it's probably a minor like a minor girl minor person someone underage that's good <laughs> They not like us. 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 You think the bay gon' let you disrespect Pac, nigga? I think that Oakland show gon' be your last stop, nigga. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. What is the owl? Bird niggas and bird bitches. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Rabbit hole is still deep. I can go further, I promise. Ain't there some B rest that's for bitching? You Malibu most wanted. Ain't no law boy, you ball boy. Fish get a raid or something. Since 2009, I had this bitch jumping. You niggas will get a wedgie. Be flipped over your boxes. Well, over your foe. The other vaginal option. Pussy. Nigga better straighten they posture. Got famous all up in contact. Might write this with a doctor. Tell the pop star quit hiding. Fuck a caption, won't action. No accident. I'm hands on. He fuck around, get polished. Fuck on Wayne Girl like he was in jail. That's conniving. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. I'm glad D Rose came home. Y'all didn't deserve him either. From Alonja down to Central. Nigga better not speak on Serena. And your homeboy needs subpoena. That predator moving flocks. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I lean on you niggas like another line of walk. Yeah, it's all eyes on me and I'ma send it up to Pac. Ay, put the wrong label on me. I'ma get them dropped. Ay, Sweet chin music and I won't pass the ox. Ay, how many stocks do I really have in stock? Ay, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Ay, devil is a lie. He is 69 God. Ay, freaky ass niggas need to stay their ass inside. Ay, roll their ass up like a fresh pack of Zion. Ay, city is back up. It's a must. We outside. Ay. That was really good. <laughs> That was really good. What a just a fantastic! I love his vocals. I just, just really uh, that was fantastic. Ugh. They not like us. 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 Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie still double down, calling us some slaves. Atlanta was the mecca, building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a second, let me put y'all on game. The settlers was using town folk to make them richer. Fast forward, 2024, you got the same agenda. You run to Atlanta when you need a check balance. Let me break it down for you, this the real nigga challenge. You caught future when you didn't see the club. Hey, what? Little baby, help you get your lingo up. What? 21, get your first street cred. Thug, make you feel like you a slime in your head. Hey, what? Cravo said you can be from north side but two chains say you good but he lied you run to atlanta when you need a few dollars no you're not a colleague you a fucking colonizer the family matter and the truth for the matter here was god's plan to show y'all the liar mm. Mm -hmm. he a fan he a fan he a fan mm. he a fan he a fan here free here so i i totally get this right like he's saying he's borrowing cred from all these people that he's worked with and, and kind of they co-sign him right they're they're like no this guy's good this guy's good this guy's good and it's easy now for kendrick lamar to look back at that and poke fun at it and, and i think that's valid to do right like drake's upbringing was not in any hood he's not from atlanta he didn't grow up in atlanta he doesn't he's not part of the atlanta scene he's not part of the west coast scene he's not part of the new york scene like he had very different upbringing i mean and drake 
uh, Wikipedia. Drake's background, I mean, he was a child star, right? Like he was not, he was not somebody who, yeah, Degrassi, that's right, Degrassi, The Next Generation, 2001, 2008. So he was not somebody who, um, who was having a hard time growing up, as far as I know, early life. 1986, Front Ontario. His father, Dennis Graham, is an African American drummer from Memphis who once performed with Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, another famous pedophile. Um, that's not a joke. Uh, his mother, Sandra Sandy Graham, is a Canadian Ashkenazi Jew who worked with an English teacher and florist. Drake experienced a voice when he was five years old. His father returned to Memphis. He lived in Toronto. Limited finances. Oh, uh, let's see. Father traveled to see him uh, every summer. He lived in Weston Road in Toronto's working class West End. So, yeah, just a fairly normal upbringing, right? I don't know what uh, promising... Drake was a promising right winger reaching the upper Canada... Oh, right. It's hockey. I'm sorry, he's a hockey player? Of course, he's, he's in Canada. That's really a strange thing to me. I don't know why. Um, just that he's a hip-hop guy who was a hockey player. I, and I'm sure there's plenty of people who play hockey who are into hip-hop. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, left his behest of his mother following a vicious cross-check to his neck. Um, yeah, no. He moved to one of the city's affluent neighborhoods for his ability to ask about the move. Uh, yeah, no, he was not. Yeah, I can see why people. I can see why people who grew up in a difficult situation, in the hood, in whatever, would think he's taking advantage, right? Like, you didn't. You don't come from here, but now you're coming here in order to get cred rubbed off on you that you don't, you didn't earn, you didn't grow up in, it's not part of you. I can see why Kendrick Lamar would be annoyed with that. I can absolutely see why somebody would be annoyed with that. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for your life. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 God. Hey, 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 run for your life. Hey, 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 run for Let your life. Let me hear you say O V Ho. O V Ho. Say O V Ho. O V Ho. Then step this way. Step that way. Then step this way. Step that way. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Then step this way. Step that way. Then step this way. Step that way. Kind of a cool little dancey feel to that. So uh, this part, the step this way, step this way. On the surface, this section of the outro could be a subtle nod to Kendrick Lamar's 2022 Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. While many believe Drake's advantage would be in creating a club-friendly club friendly diss track, few expected Kendrick to beat him to the punch by initiating a dance craze. Yeah, no, this song sounds super cool. These directions are similar to Drake's own April 2020, the Tusi Slide. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, this is a cool sounding song. Like, I, I thought that sounded very cool. And then here is the Heart Part 6 from Drake. I don't think there's another track after this, which I'm a little surprised by, because um, it's been a few days now. Uh, Family Matters, The Heart. And uh, the one thing I did like about this track was that he calls it The Heart Part 6, and Kendrick Lamar already has a series, The Heart Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so this Part 6 would be next. And this is, um, this is Drake kind of hijacking, <laughs> hijacking. That. And that's, that's a cool idea. Like, uh, props to him. That's a cool, cool thing to do. Uh, cool thing to do in a, in a rap battle or in a diss track battle, right? Um, is there more in this uh, Drake Kendrick diss tracks list? 
I think this is the last one. Family Matters, Buried Alive, Buried, Not Like Us. Yeah, so even that's not even up to date. Yeah, who won? I mean, is there even any any question as to who won this? I mean, you'd have to be an absolutely diehard, diehard, diehard fan of Drake to think he won this. And I haven't even listened to the last song. So let's check this out. The Heart Part 6. Drake addresses the allegations made by Kendrick Lamar on his last two diss tracks. Oh, terrible idea. Don't address the allegations. Attack. You should be attacking. You should not be defending. Defending is terrible. Defending is terrible. While also going on the offensive. That's good. Following the release of Meet the Grams, the beef took a pretty dark turn as Kendrick accused Drake of pedophilia, shady behavior. <laughs> big surprise uh that is similar to that of harvey weinstein and having a baby daughter previously unknown similarly to how kendrick mocked drake's am pm series of songs with 616 in la drake takes a page out of kendrick's book by mocking his the heart series which has been a staple throughout kendrick's long career drake revealed the song via instagram uh, bu, 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 bu. I don't care about that. The cover art depicts an Instagram comment by PG Lang co-founder Dave Free. Oh, PG Lang co-founder Dave Free under a post of Whitney Alford's children. Drake uses this to allude to his claim made on Family Matters that Alford cheated on Kendrick with Free and had a baby with him that Kendrick is raising. Why? Why do people gotta do shit like that? On the, tra on the track, Drake uh, continues to address everything that Con Kendrick has recently thrown his way. He reveals that the supposed existence of an 11-year-old daughter that Kendrick suggested is completely false, a hoax that was leaked to Kendrick's team in hopes of baiting him to use it <laughs> to his advantage. <sighs> Drake also addresses the allegation. You know what? If it's false, which, which I assume it is, right? If it's false. Um... He was, Lamar was using the information he had. He's in the middle of a dis, dis war, using whatever he's got. He's not a reporter. He, he's, he's, <laughs> he's not. Uh, he's not somebody who needs to be held to some, like, journalistic integrity <laughs> for a diss track. You, that's not a thing. You don't have to be. You, you should tell the truth, obviously, because if you don't, you can get sued and get into a lot of trouble. But I don't see Drake suing him for calling him a pedophile. I mean, am I, am I missing something? Is it just entertainment? Are we just supposed to be fucking amused? I, I'll be curious to see if anything comes of this legally, because... Um, because I don't think there will be anything that comes of this legally. And that should tell you something, honestly. Because, seriously, you call me a pedophile? I'm, and you're public like this? You're like a huge star? And, and the person who's calling you that is a huge star? Like, yeah. You got money to, to take that to court. You got money to ring out of somebody who says something false about you. But I don't see anything false coming. I mean, and that said, I don't see Kendrick suing uh, Drake for saying he beat his family, his wife, whatever. Um, so I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see something about that. Maybe, maybe it will get even nastier in court. But let's check out The Heart Part 6. Still a great name. 5 minutes, 25 seconds. Let's do it. I'm sure Aretha Franklin loves having, well, she's gone now, but loves having her name and her music associated with a diss track war <laughs> between, <laughs> between these two. Uh, and especially from Drake's side, right? Like, if the stuff about him is true, and some of it is, okay, I can't say it's true, but it's inappropriate that he had relationships like he did with teenage kids, teenage girls, when he was in his 20s and 30s absolutely inappropriate i don't care who you are that's not right um yeah aretha franklin sorry lady 
Surprise winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial? Then, where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? Yeah, that's not a thing. There, there, there's no proof of the trial. There's no trial. This is you two fighting each other in the schoolyard. This, I mean, where's the proof? Where's the proof? That's that's such a bullshit thing to say, too. And it's such a manipulative thing to say because it doesn't it doesn't prove that you haven't done it, right? All it says is f find the proof, give me the proof. Well, I mean, if something comes up, you're going to be regretting these lines, because or if you're really really super smart then there is no proof and you're just an asshole privately because nobody can prove it because you're a gaslighter and a manipulator like hey good for you 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 did it you abused people and got away with it and there's no paper trail this, uh, this is like the worst way to come at this song the absolute worst 1090 jake would have took all the walls down the streets would have had me hiding out in a small town my montreal connect stand up not far down the ones that you getting your stories from they all clowns i am a war general season in preparation my jacket is covered in medals honor and decoration you waited for this moment overcome with the desperation yeah and that's a weird thing too the one that you're getting your stories from they all clowns so so the people that you're using to give him misinformation you're calling clowns so do you do you trust them or do you not trust them or are you saying like to kendrick they're clowns because if they're clowns then you don't trust them because you know they're giving information to the other side so you're giving them false information to turn over to kendrick's side or what like i mean this is a problem with a writer who's not paying attention because he wrote the lyrics somebody wrote the lyrics are, are the people that you're giving this information to to hand over to kendrick are they clowns just in general why are you calling them that you trust them you don't trust them i it that's stupid i'm a war general really what war what what war have you ever been in seasoned in preparation my jacket is covered in medals honor and decoration you waited for this moment overcome with the desperation we plotted for a week oh yeah you're a war general because you you came up with some lies to tell somebody and fed you the information a daughter that's 11 year old years old i bet he takes it stupid it's, it's just stupid it's this is just stupid 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 let's let's give him a whole bunch of lies to to rap about to attack me about so that my response can be we fed you a lot of lies like that's so dumb that's so dumb so now we know you're a liar drake uh, keep defending yourself you're doing great we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old i bet he takes it we thought about giving a fake name or a destination but you so thirsty you're not concerned with investigation instead you in that venice studio it's a celebration you got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient your fans are rejoicing thinking this is my expiration even the picture you use the jokes and the medication the maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation master manipulator you bit on a speculation you dumb and reactive nigga I'm petty with dedication. What about the bones we dug up in that excavation? And why isn't Whitney denying all of the allegations? Why is she following Dave free and not Mr. Morale? You haven't seen the kids in six months. The distance is wild. Dave Lee. He's so stupid. And, and I saw somebody comment on this. Like, they haven't been together for months. So, of course, he hasn't seen her. Like, how, how much contact do you necessarily have with your ex-wife after you split? I mean, literally, I haven't talked to my wife since she she didn't walked out so i mean literally haven't seen her in over seven years now so it's it's not that unusual especially when you're a, 
like a superstar and have a lot of things to do and I'm sure he's seen the kids. That way it says haven't seen the kids, but I have no proof of that, right? The distance is wild. Like, of course he's... It's, but it, what a bunch of garbage. Dave leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Well, yeah, get the, he's friends with them. Like, ridiculous. Leaving heart emojis underneath pics of the child. Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok video. Really, you expected to be compared to Epstein, even though Epstein I don't think has been mentioned, unless it's in the song that was taken down, which was Drake's song. He said Weinstein, not Epstein. So... Why are you bringing up Epstein? Is Epstein better to bring up than Weinstein? Man, it's stupid. Yo's you collected and dissected. Instead of being on some disdirect shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. My mom came over today and I was like, Mother I, Mother I, Mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Ah, oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is. And now you're attacking a guy for having been molested? He's attacking you for possibly being a pedophile. And your response is to attack him for being the victim of assault. You're a piece of shit trauma from your own confessions that's when your father leave you home alone with no protection so neglected that's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with it's so you, you don't sound upset about that i would i would think if somebody called you a pedophile in public multiple times you'd be pissed off you don't sound pissed off drake you do not sound pissed off you should be pissed off fucked up that you're not pissed off that we're two minutes into this song and this is the first time you specifically address being called a pedophile like it's not that big a deal i'll get to it eventually <laughs> it's fucked up dude that's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with it's so excessive they're acting like it's so aggressive but you just never known affection i don't want to dish you anymore this really got me second guessing touch my body by mariah carey play you probably start reflecting i never been with no one under age but now i understand why that's the angle that you i, I haven't been with anybody under 18. i mean no I, i've never been with anybody under 18. that's your defense you're 37 fucking years old, dude. I've never been with anybody underage. Hmm. I mean, not that you can prove, right? Because I've already said, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Never been with anybody under 18. But 18, I'm there. I'm there. Because that's not creepy. It's not creepy. It's legal. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Fuck you. What a piece of shit. I mean, I'm serious. Uh, wow really mess with just for clarity i feel disgusted i'm too respected if i was fucking young girls i promise i'd have been arrested i'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested but that's not the lesson clearly there's a deeper mess what does that mean i'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested i'm way too famous to get away with sleeping with young girls like there's a long history of famous people getting away with sleeping with young girls unfortunately it's now 2024 and um we've learned a little bit i mean i mean woody allen roman polanski um any number of rock stars who have slept with young girls jerry lee lewis married his 13 year old cousin elvis presley married his i don't even know 15 16 year old girlfriend he was much older than that like, no, you're not too famous for this. You're not. That, that's just a smokescreen. I'm sorry, Drake. Drake is... That's just bullshit. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant. Talk about breeder. Like if. If. 
if this thing happened, then that would be really messed up and probably breed resentment. Resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment. The shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents, but you a piece of shit. So I pray you recover from both incidents, which may or may not have happened. But, you know, I hope you're okay with the th hypotheticals that I've come up with. This shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat, D major. What? You're not gonna see me on no sex offender list. And you gotta be sharp and tell the fans who, who was it? Like, who was it that you slept with? Like, which one of the multiple people that I could possibly have slept with when they were underage, which one, which one is it that you have proof on or that you might find proof on? Because I'm, I'm not going to address the individual people because, you know, this guy's a moron. I mean, this is just stupid. I slit your throat with the razor and do Rick Ross air like that one flight from Malaysia. I'm your baby mama screensaver. Only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fuck. Well, except maybe an 18 year old teenager. A hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Yo ass in extreme danger. Stop by and. Yeah, you stuff a lot of bullets into guns, Drake. Come on. Views and buy comments, you may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records, I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. Ah, yeah, see, now he can come back to the woman beater thing that he's planted in a previous song to say, to treat it as if it's 100% true, even though there's no actual proof to the allegations that he's a woman beater that... Kendrick Lamar is a woman beater, but he's just gonna Drake is gonna just treat it as truth because he's he's talked about it, right? This is just manipulative garbage. This is bullshit. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people pray. That's like the one comment in here that I think is possibly valid, right? Um Kendrick Lamar stood up to to the streaming services and said, if you remove R. Kelly's music, you have to remove my music. Um, kind of a weird thing to defend, right? R. Kelly, I don't know, not, not really worth defending. But I also don't understand why he would take his music down anyway. People's music and art can exist independent of them. I don't know if he's still making music off or making money off of that. I guess that would be the one thing I wouldn't like. Ah, oh, Drake, God, dude. Drake just sounded like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. No wonder you turn a cloud chaser instead of doing hard labor. I'm sorry. Album dropping soon. No wonder you turn to a clout chaser. You think Kendrick Lamar is chasing clout because he's coming after you? Come on. That's also, I mean, unless I'm misreading what he's saying here, but that's a ridiculous thing to say. Guys won so many Grammys. He, you are not, you know. Nigga, I see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit you back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> what, again, a I bunch promise. of crap. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this shit was some, some good exercise, like... It's good to get out, get the pen working. You would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but... He's not angry. He's, he's not angry. He's not angry like a person who's been called a pedophile. Now, this is, this is a good workout. This, this is pretty good. This might be okay if you weren't lying. The, that's how you're going to play that? It is what it is. It is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out, though. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. No, you, you didn't finesse him. You, you, you lied. You lied to him. 
you manipulated the situation to weaken his side. <laughs> I, what a piece of shit. I mean, really. I mean, if, if you're a... Like, you might think it's cool that Drake did that, that his people fed Kendrick Lamar information about stuff that was false. But that's just... And, and yes, it, it can be clever and it can be like, oh, that's pretty underhanded. But guess what? It's, it's done to manipulate the situation, to make the other side look like they're unreliable, even though it's information that was falsified and given to them to make them look questionable and <laughs> yeah not a fan of drake right now and then you go and drop the west coast one to try and cover that up i would like that one that, that, that would be some shit i could dance to if he wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit but you know at least your fans are getting some raps out of you i'm happy i can motivate you bring you back to the game like you know but just let me know when we get into the facts everything in my shit is facts except for the Waiting stuff you that return the favor, is not right? fat facts yeah a load of garbage i mean drake did not impress and he, and it just got worse as it went on. Okay, so let's check this out. Is there any any proof any proof Kendrick Lamar uh, uh spousal abuse beat wife? Did Kendrick actually beat his girl? Kendrick, uh, Swing Legacy, Shutter Future, Hot New Hip Hop. So six days ago on Hot New Hip Hop. This was, I'm sure, this website is parody of Kendrick's Oklahoma Hub. What? Pretty uh, No longer together and Lamar's violence is the reason why, Drake alleges. Furthermore, the fans have dug up allegations from 2014 that Kendrick allegedly beat a woman at the Hard Rock Casino shortly after that alleged incident. But this is not this is not about his wife. Kendrick speaks on woman feeding. Yeah, I mean and I'm sorry I didn't I didn't mean to dismiss that thing about the Hard Rock Cafe, but that seems off to the side of what we're talking about here. The only evidence at the moment is a news article from 2014. It said Kendrick allegedly beat a woman in a hotel. As far as we know, there are no actual legal actions. The Breakfast Club show asked Kendrick about it, and he said it was a false rumor. Drake keeps implying that he has more proof, but so far the tabloid is all we know. Yeah, if there's proof, release the proof. I mean, there, there you go. It is easy enough to look at something like Drake's side of things, where Drake is at least friends with people who are significantly younger than him, which is 100% inappropriate. Fr friends. I'm 54. If I were friends with a... And if I were 37, and I were friends with a 17-year-old... Friends with a 17-year-old? Who, who wasn't related to me in some way, who wasn't like the friend, like the daughter or son of a friend of mine, who, like, even if I were talking to them, I'd be like, hey, is it okay if I talk to your kid? Like, no, 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 no. No, no, that's like, that's all in the public, right? That's all in public view. Drake, you're a piece of shit. I mean, it, it just is pissing me off. And I'm not saying Kendrick is a good guy, because I don't, know him at all but at least Kendrick thinks what he's doing is exposing someone for being a terrible person for being a predator and, and if he's wrong he will have that <laughs> he will be in a lot of trouble right 
There are legal recourses for that sort of thing. So if he's wrong, he will pay for it. But what he thinks he's doing is letting people know, like, this is somebody you need to be careful of. And I don't like him. And there are lots of people in the industry who don't like him because he's shady. And Drake's response is, it was a good workout. I mean, it would have been. What, dude? That's your response? Yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. And I'm sorry if you're a Drake fan and you're like, that's not fair, John. I don't care if it's fair. That's, that's some, that's some BS right there. Partner. Buddy boy. Yeah, I'm doing the white guy thing. Um, that was way longer than I thought it was going to be, but obviously there's a lot of stuff to be said about that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. Yeah, I, I... There's got to be something behind the scenes that set this off, right? Because it kind of like slowly built, slowly built, and then just exploded last week and and I mean honestly it was kind of cool to watch from the outside and see this huge thing take over all of my feeds like everybody was talking about it and there was a ton of really excellent things being said and if you want to find out like in-depth things go check out TikTok go search up this stuff go go just to Google and search it up. There's a ton of really good information and people did some fantastic breakdowns of the lyrics, the double and triple entendres that Kendrick had in there. Um, I mean, Kendrick absolutely won this. If you think anything otherwise, you're crazy. You're, I mean, just, you're not thinking right. Drake is, in these songs, just in these songs, he's a liar and manipulator and a gaslighter and he he and really honestly kind of unimpressive in terms of his performances and Kendrick is giving a warning his lyrics are great the way his performances hold together and a change in the course of a song are fantastic um, and it just seems like he absolutely ruled this. He just owned it. And Drake was constantly on the back foot and trying to play it off like, no big deal. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and win the war of like being cool by um, using the van from Kendrick's videos, destroying it. Like, yep, that's cool. That's great. I'm gonna like steal the heart part six out from under Kendrick. Yep, that was that was cool too. I'm, but then I'm gonna lie to him. I'm gonna feed him false information so that I can then turn around and tell people that he doesn't check his sources. Like what the, f what? There are no sources for this. He can't check his sources. It, it uh, we're lying to him. It, it just it just drives me crazy. It's just it's manipulative, to the extreme. And, uh, and uh, just uh, Drake's a piece of shit. I mean, that's how I come down. And, and I feel more like that now after having listened to all of these songs than I did at the start when I just thought, oh, yeah, you know, like I think Kendrick is generally doing better because I'd listened to a couple of tracks. I think Kendrick is doing better in this. But, I mean, Drake shoots himself in the foot in this by by showing us how dishonest and manipulative he is and how okay he is with being called a pedophile if i walked up to you in a public place and called you a pedophile wow and and kendrick's doing that uh, on the internet to everybody in the world and drake's response is whatever like i never slept with anybody under 18 It's not. It's not. A, that's not a good look, dude. That's not a good look. Yeah. So there you go. 
Um, I'm sorry if you don't like this. Uh, I, I really considered whether or not I wanted to do a reaction to this. Uh, I'm sure there are going to be people be pissed off about what I have to say about it. I mean, at least if I've done it right, there's going to be people who are pissed off. Um, this just became such a singular moment in hip hop that I felt like I, I wanted to listen to all these songs. And so I may as well do it in front of all of you. If I, if I end up being wrong, I end up being wrong. I still think this feels like two kids beating the shit out of each other in the, in the schoolyard. Um, one of whom looks way worse at the end of it than the other kid. And, um, and like I said, at least one side feels like they're being righteous, feels like they have something to say to warn people away from the other guy. And the other guy is like, so what if I threw sand in your face? I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's the, the sand in the face is the lying to people is what I'm trying to say. I just... I'm curious as to how this is going to play out in the next however long. I was going to say a couple of weeks, but it could be months or years. I'd be curious to see how this plays out in terms of what comes next. Because I can't imagine this is just done, right? And if Kendrick does actually have some proof to offer up over these allegations. And it doesn't, it really, honestly, it doesn't matter. That whole line that Drake says about, like, I've never been with anyone underage what like that's 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 your saving grace like that's not that's not you're 37 to sleep with an 18 year old is yeah it's legal there's nothing wrong with it legally speaking but you'd have to have a relationship with someone before they're 18 that once they turned 18, if it immediately became physical, or even like shortly after they turned 18, even within a year after turning 18, I just, I can't even conceive of that, like, of how you'd be okay with that. Like, oh, well, you know, we'd known each other for four or five years, and we talked, and we texted, and, and now sex never came up, we never, you know, but then it's soon as she turned 18 like all of a sudden our feelings changed and we became confidants on a deeper level um no you're creepy dude you're creepy you're not you're not winning that you're just you're not it's creepy it's creepy it's creepy <laughs> i can't even i can't even um and i i should say i i should also say this um I'm 54. My wife is 39. So there's a 15 year, year, 15 year difference between us. If I were 30 and she were 15, uh, yeah, that would be wrong. If I were, uh, if I were 35 and she were 20, that's a, that's a little less creepy, but I would still not have done that. Like would, would not have done that. Um, if I were 40 and she were 25, probably still no, no. I don't think I could have met my wife much earlier than when I did. And it's still, the age difference is weird, but she is a fully grown woman. She is not an 18 year old girl. And that's a 15 year difference and I'm I still at 40 I don't think I would have dated a 25 year old so I don't know what Drake's thinking dating a teenager I say that 18 year old and he's 37 that's a that's a 17 year no that's a 19 year difference Whew. that's like an entire generation that's that's, I don't know what he's thinking. I, I don't know what he's thinking. 
yeah, he, this is not a good look for him. He should have shut the fuck up and apologized and sat down and examined his life. He shouldn't have. He, sh he shouldn't have. I've, he shouldn't have said the line, I've never slept with anybody underage. God, that's so messed up. What an ass. Uh, Pop Squat. Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Or, or not like it. Thumbs down it. That's fine. Rip me a new one in the comments. I, It's fine. It's all opinion, right? Um, Cash App PayPal Patreon is over here if you want to support me. I'd love it if you would. Currently out of work. Currently looking for work. Would like to feed my family. Have yourself a good, good day. Bye-bye.